So this is gonna be kind of an unconventional video. I already started the project and it was kind of an afterthought to make the video on it. I'm just gonna be running over what I did real quick. And then from here on out, I'll be recording most of the things that happened to this mower. So a little backstory, I had this SX85 and it was in pretty darn good condition. Probably, too, well, the motor was blown so I couldn't really sell it or anything. And uh, I'd never seen a go-kart made on like a real riding lawnmower per se. Most of them are garden tractors. And I threw the uh, three horse predator on there. It was plenty fast, really had the top end. I even used a jack shaft and that was kind of just to get away from using a bigger sprocket on the axle. I'm not really much of a fan of doing that because it hangs too low, but it had no starting power whatsoever. The whole build really only took a day. Parts I had laying around, I didn't want to go out and buy anything. It, it was dirty and my brother says, well, if I pick up a six horse motor, will you slap it on there? And I'm like, yeah. And he comes back with this 420cc beast of a Predator engine that we will somehow be slapping into this little deer. As you can see, it's a bit larger on our mower. And this is kind of where we got it situated so far. Obviously, we're gonna have to build some plating on the bottom. Probably just turn this little cheap frame into Swiss cheese. I got a CVT coming. That should be here tomorrow. Um, and after this is on, so you got this little bar here I just shoved under there. That'll be going back around the back. And that actually holds the body panels on. Something I didn't know is that these 420cc Predators actually have a spot for a throttle cable, which is kind of cool. For the parts, um, 40 series chain, it is far stronger than 35, and I also have problems with 35 hopping off the sprockets. I'm not too much of a fan of making um, idlers. Three quarter inch pillow block bearings, El Cheapo, eBay. I think they're five bucks a piece if you buy them in a four pack. And then from Radwell, Radwell's a really good place to get cheap stuff. So we got Martin sprockets. This is a 14 for the jack shaft, and this is a 34 for the jack shaft. This one is a 26. This will be going on the axle. Um, oh, that's free candy. So I'll be putting this new jack shaft probably somewhere back here on this back wall. Gonna make some clearance for it. You're gonna have to figure out exactly how that works once Torque Converter gets here tomorrow. Now this axle on here is three quarter inch. So I kind of have um, questions if it's even gonna hold up to the uh, power. It's not that big of a deal though. I do have some one inch axle ag tires that are just chilling, not doing much. I might just go ahead and get a one inch keyed shaft and slap those on there, but I don't have the one inch bearings. And getting things is just a project these days with this quarantine crap. So yeah, in future videos, we'll be uh, obviously setting this up to run. This is the third go-kart we're gonna be making, and it is the first one with, well, first off, an engine this big, and one with that's actually gonna use a CVT. That's the build. Um, I'm hoping to God that I keep up with these videos and I actually get some footage of it being made and walled and such, but you should be seeing more from me. So until that time, peace.